Well, all right. Well, welcome back. Today, we're going to look at one of my favorites. It's a Square D size 2 motor starter. Uh, the purpose of this video today is to get you more familiar with the parts, their identification, and the function that they serve on the motor starter. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in. We'll identify the parts and their purpose, what their function is. You'll see right here, I've already loosened the screws just for speed of the video, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this cover off. Two screws hold it down. This is going to give you all the information you need as far as square D, the size, it's an 8536, uh, gives you the voltage, the current, and all the pertinent information that you will need. So we'll take the cover off, set him to the side. This will expose the coil. Uh, this particular coil is a 240 volt. I can tell that because the label has the voltage here and the part number as well. All right, so you grab the coil once you've got the cover off. Just grab the side, and you'll notice you have to wiggle a little bit, but it has this steel block that comes with it. That's your uh, armature. That's your E-magnet. And basically the way that works, when the control circuit is applied here, for this particular one, 240 volts, is placed here. When that power is applied, there's a magnetic field that occurs in this coil of wire, and that magnetic field will pull that E-magnet, that armature, it pulls it forward, and you'll see this hook that goes with it. I'll show you a little bit about that. Let's take the armature out. That's the bottom half. That's the part that lat pulls the latch in. Set him off to the side. Pull the top out, and you'll notice it's labeled. Got front written on it there. Keeps it easy for you. And then the coil, when it turns on that hook we mentioned on the bottom armature, that hook there, it's going to actually grab this white, pull this head off here. This is the top section. Two screws hold it here in the corners, one here, one here. See in the corners. When that hook pulls, it actually will pull against this white plastic little bushing in there. When that happens, what's happening on the inside of the starter is that it pushes the three sets of contacts. If you can see them there, this is your three phases, A, B, and C phase. And when they move, that actually bridges the gap, makes the connection from the top of the starter to the bottom starter contact inside. So let's take a look at those. So electrical, mechanical action, pulls the contacts in, place that to the side. When it pulls the contacts in, you'll see down in the body, you see there is a top and bottom contact. Point those out. You've got three contacts here. There's one on the top for each phase. That's your power coming in. And then when the contacts pull in, it bridges the gap between the two of these and it connects. So it connects across the two, uh, the open of the main contacts inside. Once that happens, the power travels down into these copper pieces here in the top of the overload block. And what that's doing, you just go ahead and pull that out of there. <clears throat> that transfers down, move that body for you. These connections now have power on them. The power travels into this overload heater, which I'm going to pull one of them out for you. Pull the little screws out there. You'll see this. These come in different sizes. They'll have a part number on them. This is the actual overload heater that protects the circuit. Three overload heaters inside the overload block, protecting three-phase uh, individual power there. So. Inside, this is what's really cool. Uh, this is the protection block. When this reset button, you'll notice that there's a, a little whisker. If you can see that there, this little little spring right here. It's like a little trigger. But that trigger, what happens is if this heater sees a fault, it's going to flex. When it flex, it's going to activate that trigger. When that trigger is activated, it's going to trigger this switch. One side of this switch will have power coming in. The other side of the switch is going to go around and turn the coil on when you give it power. What happens, let's go ahead and pull that guy out. What happens is you take the, when you have a fault there, this switch gets activated. You probably can't see that, but it's got a little, a small little spring activated there. But what it's doing internally is opening a contact. So it's breaking that circuit between the two screws. That turns your coil off. That protects your circuit. So basically, it's done its job when it sees a, a spike in current or amps. So hopefully this has been helpful here. Again, this is just to identify 
all the parts and their function on the starter. And in future videos, we're going to get into a little bit more depth about how to maintain and how to service and rebuild a starter. Well, okay, now that we know a little bit more about the parts, the identification, what they are, and the purpose that they serve, hopefully this has been helpful for you. And if you find yourself with uh, further questions, just leave a comment below. I'll be glad to get back with you. Also, we ask that you subscribe to our channel. Again, you guys have been great. Thanks so much, and God bless.